side. Um, Shine was looking really good with the Kimberly. Every time I see him play, he always got some new kind of dirt, some yep. crazy block string where he's making you take all this pressure and jacking up your drive bar um, or, or just some kind of new overhead reset that he goes into. So definitely uh, curious to see what more he has saved for the winners and grand finals. But uh, Kaba, no, no slouch either, man. He's very much used to being in this position. Oh, yes. Uh, in fact, just last year, he was the winner of Defend the North. So he's got a title to defend. Yeah, absolutely. He, he definitely um, you know, has the, the weight of the crown, as you could say. Yeah. Um, but no slouch, you know. In this region alone, you know, Shine is the ECT champion from last year. So yeah. two champions going back to back. They've played each other quite a bit in the past in multiple games now. So let's see how they start this off. Yep, pressure on for both players as we bring it on for round one of game one for the winners' finals. Wow, that was a crazy confirm from that really far range counter hit cross medium punch right there from Shine. Picking and choosing those ranges to go in on the Guile is going to be yeah. super important because you know Kimberly can get blown up if you start with him yeah. around. But so much damage to be found. Just look at how Shine is pressing to the corner already. Yeah, nice confirm right there. Oh, and right there, running away with it. Oh, and how about presence of mind? All right, one more confirm will do it for Shine, but he is in the corner now. This is the, the position that Guile wants, but just like that, Shine finds the hit with the standing medium punch, immediately goes for the driver and takes the first round. I'm surprised that Kaba went in for the approach there, playing aggro right out the gate as Guile. Not a typical option you'd see against Kimberly, but we'll see if that aggro play does pay dividends for him as we move along the set. Yeah, definitely uh, Kaba is the type of player that um, him and Knuckle do, especially, they started this in like Street Fighter 4 and 5, where they really heavily represented that Guile could be playing very offensive as well. Right. Because, you know, like before them, you know, we had Dominion who played the more defensive style, and then they kind of like introduced that, like, no, this is a totally different way to play Guile. But just as I say that, he's taking a beat down right now <laughs> in this corner. Shine is just that kind of player. Before you know it, you blink and he's already mauling you. Oh, he could have got the anti-air right there, but one chip kill for the win. Cracked it open. And yeah, I'm glad that you highlighted the, the, the offensive focus for Guile under Kaba, because while that may be like his style, like you still got to appreciate the tools that you have available to you. And yeah, you can just be defensive in someone's face, but with the way that Shine is able to so confidently advance on his opponents, you got to try to make use of the space that you keep between them. Yep. And now Kaba saying it's my turn to play. He got the control in the corner right now. Oh, nice back dash right there from Shine. Not an option that you see too often. In the corner, no less. All right. Oh, nice and nice patience there from Kaba. He saw that the slide was a little bit too close. Just went for the crouching jab punish. And that's what I'm talking about, John. If you have a player who has such good reaction timing, such good presence of mind, you give just a little bit of space and with the tools of dial, you'll be able to find the cracks in the offense them shine. Yeah, and I think that that drive rush bazooka knee was a little bit close right there. That is only zero on block, so I'm surprised Shine didn't recognize that and challenge with the crouching jab, at least to get the trade. All right, nice throw tech right there. Nice challenge with the buffered cross strong. All right. And yeah. Kaba having none of that right there, immediately saw the attempt at the overhead. He knew that Shine had to go for something big. Just challenged with the crouching jab, put himself on the board, one game apiece. Yeah, I think playing on second beat during that game two worked out really well. Kaba, the way that he was able to still keep his pressure on, he wasn't playing passively, but at the same time, he kept a little bit of space, that way he could make the most of his reversal option. Come on. Wow, going for the overheads right now, representing that early. <laughs> All right, and now Kaba putting on the pressure in the corner. Just absolute oppression. Doesn't care about the parries, but one of them gets through. Let's see if Shine's able to make the most of it. All right, and nice side switch right there. And Kaba saying, I don't know what you're going to do. I'm just going to flash it. I don't care. <laughs> All right, but Kaba's drive is dangerously low right now. One good sequence from Shine, and it might get punished. Oh, but... It's not looking like he's getting that opportunity in this round. Yeah, Kaba has been really sharp with the punishes. The, the, mean, the, the moment he recognizes that he can go for a crouching jab punish, he gets the most out of it, as we saw right there. He did crouching jab punish counter, the standing fierce, drive rush combo, and took that round. I say now he's starting to space yeah. out the drive rush bazooka knees. Because now you get to really take advantage of the momentum that you've built up. You can get away with that aggressive play right. style, but Shine is not going to get bested that easily. Finding a reversal takes the corner for himself. And another back 
Yeah, amazing shimmy right there. All right, goes for the level three. She does get a damage boost on this. So if he wins this round, he's going to go into round three with the damage boost, which is a good position for for Kimberly. And given how back and forth that these are been, you got to take everything you can get. But right now, Kaba taking it forward. Yeah, and good, good recognition right there from Kaba because even though that kind of seemed like a risky decision, but if he didn't go for some some kind of reversal there, he would have been burnt out. And he knows he was thinking that far ahead. If he would have been burnt out, he probably wouldn't have any way to escape that situation in the, in the future. So he said, you know what? Let me represent this as part of my options now, early, so that later on in the set, he might make Shine pump the brakes a little bit, you know? Exactly. Like in the short run, you've got the resources to do it. You might as well use it. Yeah. And in the long run, you put that in the back of Kaba's mind. Now that's something he has to worry about. He might second guess whenever he's in that similar situation. Yeah, especially in tournament play, you don't want to lose with having all those resources. You want to use them when you have the opportunity. All right, an amazing pressure here from Kaba. Oh, wow. He just found the tip of that slide right there. It's like perfect, too. And look how much he's getting off of it. Full corner carry, plenty of damage yeah. to speak of. Yeah, and then and Shine is on a good sequence right here, but this is one of the things that Kimberly kind of struggles with. We saw he opened them up three times and only got Guile down to about 50%. And even so, though it was a great sequence, it wasn't enough to take the round. Yeah. That's one of the things that she kind of struggles with. She does have great Oki and really good buttons, but the damage sometimes doesn't quite stack up until she gets she lands at that level three. In a game like SF6, I feel like it's a tall order for anyone to have to consistently win neutral and press your advantage that many times. It's like, yeah, five or six neutral interactions you take around, you can pack it in, call it at the time. Kimberly, you got your work cut out for you. Yeah, but just as we say that, he finds a big jump in right now. Oh, nice. He faked out with the pressure and went immediately for the throw. Oh, once again, found the counter hit cross cross. We saw him land that in the first round. That was such good use of it, man. Look how much he's getting off of this interaction. Yep. Ops to spend the level three right now. He said, you know what? I'm going to spend the cash. She, she does get the added bonus of the damage buff. Yep. 10% more damage. And, you know, she still does have the opportunity to, you know, get another level three in this round. I mean, if you got it, you got to use it. This is your winner's side life. You don't want to be going into that lower bracket. All right, and Kaba still not afraid to represent the EX, the OD flash kick right there. Oh, he parried it. Interesting. And what's the option out of it? Oh. The side switch is pretty clever, but an excellent response from Shine. Yeah, Shine said, I got reversals too. And you got to respect them. Oh, Kaba took the hit. Threw off the throw timing right there. And one more. All right, this is a, a scary. Oh, and the. Oh, drop the combo. Wow, Kaba can't be happy about that one right there. No, sir. He, he would not have killed with the level three, but he would have gotten uh, Shine super close. Probably would have burned them out and probably could have, the next mix up probably could have got Yeah, the exactly. Kill. It's all about that aftermath of the follow yep. through. Another really good slide in from Shine, so he opens up this game five really strong. All right, good corner pressure right here from Shine. But we have seen Kaba represent that OD flash kick a lot of times, and he's been guessing a very right on them, so. Yeah, he's not afraid to put it out. Yep. And you shouldn't be, especially with a character like Kimberly. Yeah, who's not going to really punish you that hard for it. That's right. Okay. Shine recognized that he didn't have the advantage to go for a combo. And there it is again, yep. just as we're talking about it. Oh, nice overhead right there. Oh, yeah. unnecessary Grabbing reset. Through the pressure. That's crazy. All right, he catches it big on this. Yeah, only had to spend one bar. Very good finish there for Kaba. All right, this is potentially set point for Kaba. Interesting. I think he gets a, a bomb setup from this. Oh, but obstacle for the level three. I like that decision. All right. Again, it's that use it or lose it. Yep, and you're gonna, you know, you're gonna recover a lot of drive for this as well. Oh wow. Okay. Oh, Kaba a little bit too early there on the drive rush. All right, going to get the overhead. All right. Big damage, and you further move yourself to center stage. Plenty of opportunity here for Kaba to get the space and work with it. Yep. Oh. Wow. 
Oh wow, nice throw tech right there. Wow, how about recognize it? Go to the level one. Oh, there it is. Didn't have the life to survive the drive. In fact, it could have parried, but it was just like the mental stack was too high yeah. right there. All that pressure builds up, and you're still human. And right now, you're a human slain alive in loser's finals as Kaba moves on to winner's side brand. Yeah, and Kaba's entourage right now going crazy. <laughs> Oh, and that situation right there. Let me let me give you a little rewind on that right there. Hold on one second. All right, pause. Okay. Yeah, we got plenty to talk yeah, about I, on this I one. I love the way it was right here. Look at that. The backdash straight into the punish. He saw that Shine was doing the slide a little bit too much. And right there, boom. And there was bits and pieces throughout the set where we saw the slides either get recognized and we just saw Kaba retreat, or we saw more minor punishes. Like, yeah, he was building out the damage, getting good positioning, but nothing too big. But where it mattered the most, the perfect positioning. Because then he just needed the one reversal, and boom, there's the round, and the round that counted. Yeah, so extremely good awareness there from Kaba. Able to space out that slide with punish it with the sweep into the flash kick combo, into the level one. At, at, at that point, it was kind of a wrap. You know, Shine had very limited resources. Yeah. Mental stack was just through the roof at that point. And uh, Kaba recognized it and made the right call with that drive impact. Good stuff, Kaba moving on. I'm glad you brought up the concept of 